Hi, my name is Gabriela Valdivia. I am an associate professor in the Department of Geography, and I am also an affiliate faculty in the Environment, Ecology, and Energy program at UNC. My most recent work has been in a comparative study between a refinery city in Ecuador called Esmeraldas and oil fields in the Amazon region. And we have been looking at how life unfolds in relation to the oil chain in Ecuador. But most surprising things that we have found is um, the kind, the shift in framework that we had to use in order to understand the effects of oil flow. We entered this program, this this project, with my collaborator Flora Liu at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Um, we entered the project with uh, with an environmental justice lens, and we were looking for the ways in which uh, people were resisting the oil economy in Esmeraldas. This is uh, a framework that has been used very commonly in different parts of the world and in the Amazon, in Ecuador, where we had been working for a long time. And what we found in Esmeraldas is that resistance to oil and mobilization against oil is not as explicit or as defined as it is in other parts of the world. So we had to shift the questions and we had to shift the way in which we approached our study to understand how people lived with oil. And that required us taking a more holistic view of their experience, looking at how livelihoods, looking at how perceptions of well-being and risk were framed in relation to an oil economy in ways that were indirect to oil, and they were more related to the kind of landscapes that oil creates rather than the oil flow itself. Yes, uh, so some of the things that we're trying to follow up on is how to think about what an intervention is in a site like Esmeraldas. Um, a lot of uh, our, our goal, our primary goal, when we started our, our research was how to channel the information so they could be used for promoting a change in policy or a change in environmental protection regulations. And what we are trying to rethink with our collaborators in Ecuador and in Esmeraldas in particular is how to think more holistically about what evidence means and how and what effect can mean. So not approaching change only through the through a formal approach of policy, but approaching change through empowerment, through the recognition of environmental knowledges that are not taken into account, through the deep histories that people have to deal with in order to make a living in Esmeraldas. There's a saying in the city that is, uh, it's called jugarse la vida, and it means to wager life. And that is, it becomes a very symbolic of how everyday life is lived in Esmeraldas. Uh, we were very fortunate to have a team of ethnographers working in Esmeraldas for six months. And it is from the rich data collection that we were able to obtain with this local team that we came to understand how important it is to take into account all a more holistic take on life that looks at health, that looks at access to services, that looks at people's self-perception of their life chances in a space like Esmeraldas and how we can have a much longer term impact when we take into account this holistic, uh, this holistic view of life rather than trying to channel it through specific policies that are directed at state representatives and government and not necessarily at the individual level. Our next steps are to continue with our dissemination effort. We, we collected a, a significant amount of information on life in Esmeraldas. And we have been collaborator, collaborating with uh, grassroots groups in Esmeraldas. There's one in particular that we've been, we've been working with. It's called MUSAM, and it translates to Women Supporting Women in Esmeraldas. And it is about the generation of knowledge about livelihood opportunities, um, about how to use research to promote their own interests in terms of providing 
um, access to health care or providing access to um, child care while, while women are uh, seeking other livelihoods. So our next steps really involve integrating the, our partners uh, into our work and using the information that we collected during our NSF project to help them to help empower the possibilities to change life.